Hey folks, happy Friday. Appreciate you checking in with us here at MyFoxHurricane.com. If you're anywhere in South Florida, Central Florida, you really got to be watching what is going on with Tropical Depression Ada through the weekend into early next week as this is likely to bring some impacts uh, towards the state of Florida late in the weekend into early next week. Let's dive right into it. Here's the latest satellite imagery uh, as of 1 o'clock Friday afternoon. It's still a tropical depression, as I said. It's back out over the water after spending about two and a half days over Central America, obviously causing a ton of flooding and just not a great situation with landslides and all that sorts of thing across Honduras and, and uh, parts of Nicaragua. That has now come to an end. Now that it's back out over the water, it's going to re-strengthen. At some point later today or early Saturday, it will become a tropical storm again and just kind of head up towards uh, Cuba and eventually the Keys and South Florida late in the weekend into early next week. Uh, as of 1 o'clock, winds are still at 35 miles an hour in north-northeast motion at 6 miles per hour. The pressure, 1,004. Uh, pressures will drop. Wind speeds will pick up again as this is now out of our very warm water. Uh, there's relatively light wind shear. Pretty healthy environment for this to continue to strengthen as it moves towards uh, the Cayman Islands and eventually Cuba. Uh, early Sunday and into Sunday afternoon. The, the long-term track here is still a, a big question. This is not a storm that we can say five days out, okay? It's headed straight for this area. Uh, this is one that you got to take step by step. The forecast beyond three days is pretty uncertain. The timing of turns, the land interaction, the environmental conditions along the way, all going to play a role on who sees what uh, across the state of Florida. For instance, if this kind of makes a quick turn to the west right after it passes Cuba, then we maybe see a storm that goes a little bit further west into the Gulf, which brings into play maybe a north central Gulf Coast issue. If it maybe goes a little bit further north before making that westward turn, say up towards uh, Miami and the Northern Keys, then we have a lot of land interaction, uh, probably some flooding issues across South Florida and a weaker storm that gets into the Gulf that maybe gets picked up by the trough and turned back to the northeast sooner. So it's a lot at play here that we gotta got to watch through the weekend. The takeaway, I think, for now is folks across central and south Florida need to be preparing for tropical storm conditions uh, in south Florida starting late Sunday into early Monday. If you're up towards, say, Tampa Bay along the west coast of Florida, it would be likely later Monday into early Tuesday. And some of those impacts could be significant, uh, depending on, again, a lot of factors in play. Here's the GFS ensembles. This is not showing intensity, just purely track. This is many runs of the exact same model, so the American model being run well over 20 times with different factors and different emphasis on those factors. And this is kind of what it gives us, a general consensus over central Cuba, a turn to the west, at which point it gets a little bit dicey, but somewhat of a consensus there at a, a quicker turn to the north and east and uh, likely some impacts along the west coast of Florida towards the middle of next week. The European ensembles, a bit of a different story, story maybe a little bit further west track before that move back to the north and east. Again, something we got to watch very closely. So what I would advise you for now, again, is stay prepared uh, if you're in Central and South Florida and check back in with us daily, if not a couple times a day here on MyFoxHurricane.com. We'll continue to have some write-ups for you and give you these forecast videos through the weekend into early next week. For now, take care. Enjoy your weekend. We'll talk soon.